Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. In 2008, Saab embarked on the Gripen E development program, aiming to enhance the fighter's capabilities and lifespan. The Gripen E boasts a modern glass cockpit, an advanced avionics suite, and a powerful new engine, providing increased range, payload capacity, and stealth features. The Gripen E has been offered to various international customers, and production has begun for the Swedish and Brazilian Air Forces. The Gripen E is expected to remain in service for several decades, serving as the backbone of the Swedish Air Force. Take a closer look at the production of the Gripen E, the latest variant of the Saab Gripen. Skilled technicians meticulously assemble the various components of the aircraft, including the airframe, avionics, and propulsion systems. With a focus on precision and attention to detail, each step of the assembly process is carefully executed. Saab has forged a strategic partnership with Embraer, a leading aerospace company based in Brazil. Together, they have established a collaborative production line at Embraer's state-of-the-art facility in Sao Paulo State. The facility features advanced assembly areas equipped with modern machinery and specialized tooling. Skilled technicians from both Saab and Embraer collaborate closely to ensure the seamless integration of grip and e-components and systems. Through training programs and knowledge-sharing initiatives, Saab transfers its technological advancements and manufacturing practices to Embraer. This ensures the development of local capabilities and paves the way for future collaboration in aerospace projects. In scenarios where traditional airfields are inaccessible or unavailable, the Gripen E can quickly deploy to a nearby road, taking advantage of its short takeoff and landing capabilities. With its powerful engine and advanced aerodynamics, the Gripen E only needs half a mile of runway to take off and land on, expanding its operational reach and enhancing its strategic value. The Gripen E's agile maneuverability, advanced sensors, and multi-role capabilities make it well-suited for air policing duties. The aircraft can quickly scramble to intercept unidentified or potentially hostile aircraft, assess the situation, and take appropriate action if necessary. Its ability to operate from various airfields, including short and unpaved runways, further enhances its flexibility in this role. It has also been employed in escorting missions, providing protection for strategic assets such as B-52 bombers. These missions underscore the Gripen E's ability to operate alongside other aircraft types and demonstrate its readiness to support a wide range of NATO operations. Over the years, Saab has expanded its scope and now serves the global market with a diverse range of world-leading products, services, and solutions in both military defense and civil security. With operations spanning across every continent, Saab remains committed to continuous development, adaptation, and technological advancements, ensuring that its offerings align with the evolving needs of its customers. The Saab team is at the forefront of ensuring the robustness and reliability of the submarines they produce. They employ a fully digitalized workflow, 
anchored in a model-based definition where every part and component is stored digitally, along with all the necessary information for each step of the process. This comprehensive approach secures product data throughout the entire lifetime of the submarine, facilitating cost-effective maintenance. To guarantee the utmost safety for sailors, all parts of the submarine undergo rigorous testing to meet Navy requirements. In the production lines, welding and joints are meticulously tested using ultrasonic measuring techniques combined with x-rays and other examinations. This ensures the structural integrity can withstand the high pressure and extreme shock loading experienced in underwater operations. Saab possesses in-house testing machines capable of generating impact forces up to 2,000 G, enabling thorough testing of submarine components and equipment to withstand dynamic impacts. With their unwavering commitment to quality and safety, the Saab team plays a crucial role in delivering submarines of exceptional durability and performance, ensuring the safety and effectiveness of naval operations. Saab Cockums boasts state-of-the-art shipyard facilities spanning an impressive 80,000 square meters of indoor floor area. These modern facilities are fully equipped to handle every stage of submarine and naval ship construction, from design and construction to assembly and testing. With multiple dry docks and a high-capacity ship lift, the shipyard is also utilized for maintenance and mid-life upgrades ensuring the longevity and operational readiness of Navy vessels. Situated along over one kilometer of the quay, the shipyard benefits from an excellent infrastructure and an ideal location facing the challenging and shallow waters of the Baltic Sea. This strategic positioning provides the perfect proving ground for testing and validating the performance of submarines and naval ships, further enhancing their reliability and effectiveness in demanding maritime environments. The exceptional shipyard facilities of Saab Cockums serve as the cornerstone of their operations, enabling the production, maintenance, and continuous advancement of cutting-edge naval vessels for defense forces worldwide. Within the final assembly hall, Saab has created a highly efficient production environment capable of accommodating the simultaneous construction of up to four submarines. Through the implementation of automation and optimized work processes, heavy labor and repetitive tasks have been streamlined. Even the formidable task of grinding 40 kilometers of hull and steel parts per submarine has been seamlessly undertaken by robotic systems. Notably, Saab possesses one of the most powerful plate rolling machines in the world, allowing for the precise bending of steel plates into flawless cylinders that form the essential hull sections of the submarine. Additionally, a semi-automatic milling and boring machine plays a vital role in preparing surfaces for precision welding, ensuring the structural integrity of joints under the extreme pressures encountered at great depths. This versatile machine also assists in the meticulous preparation of surfaces, facilitating the precise alignment of shafts and mating surfaces. By harnessing the power of automation and advanced machinery, Saab has elevated the efficiency, accuracy, and quality of the submarine construction process, enabling the production of submarines that meet the highest standards of performance and reliability. In warfare, the element of surprise often defines victory. Intelligence and strategy play key roles, but stealth technology elevates them further by making ships nearly invisible to enemy radar. Stealth ships have a unique design that is very different from other ships. They feature angled surfaces, radar-absorbent materials, and low noise propulsion systems.
Another notable example is the Swedish Navy's Visby-class corvettes, which are highly survivable and effective ships thanks to Saab's genuine holistic stealth, or ghost technology. Designed with a sleek, angular design that reduces its signature, the deep V-shaped vessel is considered one of Sweden's most deterrent assets against rising threats in the Baltic and Scandinavian regions. Measuring 238 feet long and 34 feet wide, its hull and superstructure have a sandwich design. The core is made from PVC material, while the outer part is entirely made from carbon fibers. This design reduces both radar and infrared signatures. Additionally, the Swedish Defense Material Administration and Saab built this ship using non-magnetic material to minimize its magnetic signature. Thanks to their composite materials, the displacement of the Visby-class corvettes is 50% lighter than that of a conventional ship of the same size. This means reduced hydrodynamic drag and increased flexibility. The Corvette is powered by water jet propulsion, which allows it to reach a top speed of 35 knots while reducing its acoustic and magnetic signature. On board, 43 crew members work as one team to fulfill the Corvette missions, whether it is sunshine, night, or fog. On the bridge, the maneuvering officer steers the ship with the help of other officers who scan the horizon for potential danger. In the Battle Command Center, personnel process radar, sonar, and other sensor data to detect vessels, aircraft, submarines, mines, and robots. The work is divided into six-hour shifts, and each six hours of work is followed by six hours of rest, during which time personnel can eat, rest, exercise, and take care of personal stuff. Food is prepared and served on board by old hand chefs who prepare meals that cater to all tastes. In the engine room, there are diesel engines used to navigate up to 15 knots and gas turbines used to go faster, over 30 knots. The engine room also houses electricity generators, boilers that provide hot water, and desalination units that convert seawater into drinking water. When it comes to warfare, the Visby-class Corvette packs some serious firepower. It is armed with a Bofors 57mm MK3 gun, capable of firing up to 220 rounds per minute with a range of over 10,000 miles. The gun is perfect for both surface and air threats. Additionally, it carries eight RBS-15 anti-ship missiles, each with a 200-kilogram warhead. With a speed of up to Mach 0.9, these missiles can make a devastating impact. The Vispi class is also equipped with four torpedo launchers loaded with Saab Torpedo 45, the same torpedoes used by Swedish submarines. It is also fitted with advanced mine countermeasures, including Saab Bofors and Atlas Electronic Seafox ROVs. Despite its small flight deck, helicopters like Augusta Westland AW-109 can still land and take off from the Corvette for various multi-purpose missions. The crew carries out routine fire and medical drills to ensure they're prepared for any emergencies. Fire drills involve practicing evacuation procedures, using firefighting equipment, and quickly containing potential fires.
Medical drills, on the other hand, focus on providing first aid, handling injuries, and managing medical crises. One of the Swedish Corvette's key operations was the escort of the World Food Program in 2009. The Corvette successfully escorted the freighter Dream H, ensuring the safe delivery of 6,000 tons of food to Somalia. The Corvette provided armed protection, ensuring a secure passage through the pirate-infested waters between Djibouti, Berbera, and Bosasso. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.